me. Hello, Danny. Danny. Hello, teacher. Ah, okay. Thank you. Great. I was testing my audio. And I was really concerned about it. Okay. Welcome. I am so happy that all of you are here. Clelia, also welcome. The same as Danny. Uh, Filomena Luz, great to see you. I hope that all of you are okay. Great. Espero que todos estén bien y sus familias, okay? After this, Julia's hurricane. But thank God we are okay. Yes. Hello, Filomena. How are you? ¿Cómo Hello, teacher. You okay? Okay, muy bien. Okay. And in your neighborhood, also okay? You have been sent out because hey, on another device. In qual other device? Okay. But you see me, okay? Okay. What? Well. So, uh, Clelia, are you okay in your family? Danny, everything is okay? Danny, todo bien? Sí? Yes, it's a okay, excellent, great. Oh, Marvelous, excellent. And Clelia, great. Okay, Brandon, hello, welcome. It is a pleasure to have you here back class. And remember that we're going to have one day after we were supposed to finish on the 29th, but because of yesterday, we're going to finish on the series, I think, yeah? Actually, let me see. I don't know. Maybe, okay, we are going to recover that class, okay? Vamos a tener que um, recuperar la clase de ayer, un día más, terminábamos el 29. Entonces, esa clase se mueve un día más, la del 29, ¿ok? Para que tengan sus horas completas. So, welcome, Brandon, Blanca Luz, Lelia, Dani, and Filomena. Blanca Luz, everything okay in your neighborhood? ¿Todo bien en la colonia? Yes? Sí, yes. Ok, great. And also, Brandon, in your neighborhood? Everything fine? ¿Todo bien? And, oh, yeah, okay, excellent, great. Okay, I am happy and glad to listen to that. Hello, Ana Veronica, you are at work. Yes, Vero. Veronica, estamos en el trabajo o en la casa. Hello, ¿qué En el trabajo está, Vero. In the work. Okay, you are at work. Excellent. Um, William Francisco, welcome, Jonathan. Thank you for being here. So we are going to get started. And let me tell you that today we're going to have a kind of feedback on the frequency words or frequency adverbs. Do you remember that from module one? ¿Se recuerdan del módulo uno? Los adverbios de frecuencia o frequency words, okay? So we're going to be working hard on that. And at the beginning, in this level, in unit one, we how can I tell you, we, we, we had a feedback on that, right? So welcome, Miss Ivania, happy to see you. Jonathan, Nilton, welcome. Okay, here we go. I'm going to share my screen with you while the others log in. So here we go. And today is October 11th, Tuesday, October 11th, 2022. And here we have for our video conference number six, greetings, feedback as every single day that we meet in our class. I need one of you to help me reading the objectives. In the pre-task, you're going to be naming some activities and I'm going to tell you about what kind of activities you're going to be naming. And we have the preparation task to describe activities and events in the workplace and other environments. And the task for today is to describe activities and events in the workplace and environments. We're going to be working, I expect, at pages 21 and 22. So class, please help me. Who's going to help me reading the objectives for today's class, today's session? One volunteer? Okay, I will appreciate. If you help me. Thank you, Ana Veronica. Please begin. Vero. 
Excuse me. Okay, the microphone. Please the speak objective. Participants will be able to describe activities and events in the workplace and other environments. Class objective. Participants will be able to identify and use the adverbs of frequency. Excellent. Thank you so much. Great. So as I told you at the beginning, this is the highlight for today to identify the uses of the adverbs of frequency and uh, put it them into practice. But you already know a little bit about them. Okay. So here, a reminder for homeworks and evaluations. You know, this is what I tell you every single day. If it is possible, go ahead and do the practices before the classes. And if you have a problem, you tell me, because there are many situations. For example, this natural disaster that we lived in the weekend and yesterday, right? And if you didn't do it, I have to. I have two students who didn't finish the activities in the platform for week number one, maybe because of the situation with the weather, with the climate, but that is why I tell you, try to work. But for the rest of the class, congratulations. I am so proud of you. Estoy muy orgullosa del grupo. Uh, excepto dos personas, todos los demás tienen el 100% en la tarea homework number one, okay? So here we continue. Remember in your camera, nombre completo al conectarse, Cámara encendida, minimizar el sonido y participación activa. Okay, full participation, 100 and 100%. And here about the attendance, every session, if it is necessary, 120 minute class. Okay, 120 minutos dura la clase, se les pide que estén conectados esos 120 minutos. La asistencia, cámara encendida para la asistencia y al final, uno de ustedes se queda conmigo para tener una one-on-one -on -one session, okay? To have a feedback or clarify any situation. So we continue with that. And you know, I am not allowed, I don't have the authorization to give you permission to skip classes. No estoy autorizada, lamentablemente, para darles permiso para la inasistencia a clases ni la administración. Se reporta, pero nada más, ¿verdad? Es la situación con la que estamos con Insafort. And here, you know, cameras, you have the, el botón en silencio, ¿verdad? La cámara encendida, el chat, WhatsApp and Zoom chat, en los breakout rooms. Pueden ustedes hacer uso, como lo han estado haciendo muy bien, del botón para pedir ayuda cuando yo estoy monitoreando otros grupos y el respeto que han mantenido también se les felicita por ello, ¿de acuerdo? Okay, and here you have that today we were supposed to begin yesterday on the things, but because of the situation, we moved. But even so, if it is possible on the 14th or in the weekend, please finish, okay? Finish the activities because in this week you have a midterm, okay? Porque en esta semana tienen un midterm exam. Y también se rumora por ahí que como que se está formando otra depresión tropical que posiblemente nos afecte. Le pediremos a Dios que no, ¿verdad? Pero eh, hay que tomar las medidas en caso de. Okay. And here we have the feedback. If you remember class, we were practicing uh, last week with how much and how many. Under which circumstances are we going to use how much, if you remember? ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar how much? ¿Con los nombres countable or uncountable? ¿Se recuerdan? Con los, con los uncountable, very well. For example, how much water do you drink in a day? How much does your blouse cost? Para los precios y salarios siempre vamos a utilizar how much. Uh, how much champagne do you drink in a year? How much milk do you drink weekly? How much money do you have in your pocket? How much is a can of soda in your neighborhood? Because from one neighborhood to the other one, maybe the prices could vary. And how many for the countable, right? Para los nombres que sí se pueden contabilizar. How many times do you talk on the phone in a day? 
How many brothers do you have? How many partners do you have in the office? How many books do you read monthly? How many hours do you have to do your activities at work? How many rooms are there in your house? How many printers are there in your working area? And I have a question. Do you remember the word that we used to say uh, hermanos y hermanas in English? Which is the word do you remember? Because brothers for boys, sisters for girls. Y para hermanos y hermanos juntos, which is the word do you remember? Cousin, cousin, algo así. No, cousins son primos. Siblings, siblings. Okay, remember, siblings, siblings. Okay, and now here, if you remember class, you were working uh, last week also in the completion of these sentences, right? In order to feel back the simple present tense, yeah? And you were working in, in groups, yeah? In the breakout rooms. And one more thing, over here, you were also working in the breakout rooms, asking and answering these questions in simple present. Do you play the piano? Do you write reports at work? Do you have lunch in the office? Do you make overtime at work? Do you work on Saturdays? Do you attend meetings on Fridays? Do you get in contact with customers? Do you take orders on the telephone? Do you call potential clients? Do you stay late at work? Do you have paid vacations? Do you organize meetings at work? Do you buy raw materials weekly? Do you organize a schedules every Monday? Do you check your emails? Y les estaban haciendo las preguntas direct questions. Le preguntaban, por ejemplo, si yo le pregunto a Verónica, do you play the piano? Then she answered, yes, I do. No, I don't. Pero ustedes también reportaban la actividad. Verónica plays the piano. Verónica doesn't play the piano. Yes. Para utilizar y reforzar la tercera persona de singular. Eso fue lo que trabajamos también last week. And also, here, this is the conversation that you were practicing in the breakout rooms. Do you remember? Yes or no? Hello? Hello, hello, do you remember? Okay. Last Friday, you were practicing this conversation, yes? Okay. And now I need volunteers in order to practice this conversation, okay? How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? Do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday, to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right, okay? So who wants to help? Practice in this conversation? Only two people, one boy and one girl I need. Who's going to read John? Okay, if you don't want to. Okay, Anna, Veronica, you're going to read Anne. And the boy, who's going to help me reading the boy? John? Nobody. Okay, I'm going to choose. Hello, Danny. Hello, Janice. Uh, Seraphine. Who else? Nilton here. Okay. Uh, since there's no volunteer to read, I'm going to ask uh, probably maybe Jonathan, would you like to help Veronica reading the conversation? Thank you, Jonathan. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, let's begin. You begin, Jonathan, and Veronica reads Anne. Okay. Okay. Uh, how often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them on a uh, week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their orders. 
do you call clients? Yes. I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Excellent. Thank you so much. Remember, once, una vez, twice, okay, two times, yes? Once, una vez, twice, two times. And here, Juan Ezequiel, hello, welcome. Okay, class. So right now, we continue and I'm going to share with you this information. Okay. Here, leisure activities. What do you do in your leisure time? Well, there are many activities that you can do and actually you do in your leisure time, right? For example, the question is this, what do you do in your leisure time? Oh, I go to the movies. Really, what kind of movies do you like to watch? Comedy, drama, horror, thriller, action, science fiction, or sci-fi is the short expression for science fiction, okay? Sci-fi, fantasy, documentary, or musical, or horror, okay, or any other. Or I watch TV, I watch the news, I watch sub operas. Do you remember the meaning of sub operas in Spanish? Hello. Hello. What's the meaning of sub operas? Do you remember? Okay. Uh, what do you do in your leisure time? I watch uh, sub operas on TV, sub operas, telenovelas. Yeah. Sub operas, telenovelas. I uh, watch criminal investigation. I watch dramas. I watch medical dramas. I watch reality TV. I watch uh, on TV situation comedies. The short form to say situation comedies is sitcoms, okay? Talk shows, I watch on TV documentaries. I watch on TV cartoons. I watch on TV, on TV, I watch on TV game shows. I watch on TV sports programs. I watch um, TV movies. I watch on TV political programs. I watch on TV religious programs. I watch on TV, okay, any other program that you like to. Or I spend time with, what do you do in your leisure time? Mm, I spend time with my family. Uh, I practice art and crafts. I do gardening, yeah. I exercise and play a sport. I go out with my friends and many others. Or what do you like, uh, what do you do in your leisure time? I go walking, I go swimming, I meditate, I do meditation, I like reading, I like playing games and dancing or whatever. Leisure time. So right now, class, the question is, what do you do in your leisure time? I blah, 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 okay, in my leisure time. Here you have some ideas, but maybe there is one that you, you do and it is not in this uh, slide, okay? Entonces, la pregunta será, what do you do in your leisure, leisure, leisure time, okay? ¿Qué haces en tu tiempo libre, en tu tiempo de ocio, cuando no trabajas, okay? And you might say, I help my wife cooking or doing the dishes or, you know, cleaning the house. Alguna persona eso lo toma, ¿verdad? Como pasatiempo, ¿ya? Ok, entonces acá seleccionan y si el de ustedes no está acá, pues lo integran. Do you have any question about this activity? The question, you are going to be transferred to the breakout rooms and you are going to ask one another, del uno al otro, what do you do in your leisure time? Y acá tienen algunas posibilidades. Si la actividad que usted hace o el hobby que practica en su tiempo de descanso, en su tiempo de ocio, no está acá, pues la agrega. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Ok? 
questions? No, teacher. No questions. No questions or no, it is not clear. No questions. Yes, okay. yes it's clear. Okay. And remember, I'm going to be monitoring. Right now, class, I'm going to share this slide with you via WhatsApp, okay? So you can have it. Right here, here. Okay. Okay, great. Do you see it? You have it in there. And uh, let me see. <clears throat> Jose Mario and Noé. Hello, Noé. Noé Hernández. Hello, Hola, Noé. Hi, Hello, teacher. welcome, Jose Mario. Noé. Hello, Noé. Are you here? Okay, Jose Mario, I need you desperately to finish your homework in section one. Okay. Necesito que me terminen las actividades de la sección uno del homework. Porque esta semana tienen también un examencito que completar. ¿De acuerdo? Sí más las actividades, ¿verdad? Más las sesiones, cada tarea en cada, en cada día. Lo mismo para Noé, no lo veo nuevamente por acá, ¿ok? So class, right now, uh, since there is no question, you may share the screen if you want to, and you take turns. La idea es que todos expresen lo que es la actividad que realizan en su leisure time. Okay, but before you're going to the breakout rooms, I'm going to take the attendance because it is exactly the time. Ana Marlene. Marlene. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Ana Veronica. Present. Present great, teacher. great. Brandon. Brandon. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Carlos Miguel. Present. Carmen Guadalupe. Carmen, not yet. Clelia. Present. Thank you, Miss Clelia. Dani, Dani Alberto. Thank you, sir. Uh, David Emanuel. David Emanuel. Present. Present. Ay, okay, teacher. I was missing. He cannot be absent, I said. Edwin okay. Roberto, Edwin, hello, Edwin. Hi, teacher. Hi, okay, thank you. Ivania. Present. Janice, Caroline. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jonathan Alexander. Here I am. Great, Jose Dimas. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jose Manuel. Jose Manuel Mejia, not yet. Aún oh, no. Jose Mario. Present teacher. Great. Juan Ezequiel. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Marley Goneida. Not yet. Nilton. Present. Thank you, Serafín. Brian, teacher. Great. William. Present. Thank you, sir. Filomena, Luz. Present. Blanqui, Luz. <laughs> Present. <laughs> Alejandra. Michelle, absent. Beatriz, absent. Noé. Okay, he's absent, but he was here. He's absent right now. Okay, class. Remember, what do you do in your leisure? Leisure, leisure time. Okay. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms sure. right now. Yes. Verdad que se puede decir también free time. Yes, free time or leisure time. Okay, both are acceptable. No problem. It is the same situation. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And instead of saying my leisure time activities, many people say my hobbies, yeah? And there is no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me check. 
Okay, class, here we go. Join your groups. Go to your groups, please. I sent you the invitation, join your groups, if you are so nice. Thank you, thank you so much. Great, excellent. Blanqui, we need you in group number two, thank you. Ana Marlene, we need you in group number one. Dimas, we need you in group number three, please. Marlene. Group number one. Hello, Ana Marlene. Please go to group number
congratulations class on your performance in the breakout rooms you were interviewing. I have a question for, let's see. I have a question for Ana Marlene. Marlene, hello. Yes, yes. Okay, Marlene, how often do you work in the English platform? How often do you work in the English platform? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sometimes, always, usually, always. usually, occasionally. Uh -huh. Always. Always, you have to say forever and ever. Okay, class, listen, unfortunately, it is time to say goodbye, but I'm going to ask Miss Marlene Oneida to stay with me after class, and for the rest of you, don't forget to work in the platform, okay? So you can say, I always work in the platform. Congratulations on your performance. Congratulations on your work last week on the platform. Everybody got 100%, only two students are still missing, but for the rest, excellent work, okay? Happy sleep, enjoy your dreams, relax, and see you tomorrow. Have a good night, and I stay with Miss Marlene Meida. Bye-bye for the rest Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. 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 Here, Miss Marlene is going to stay with me. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, Miss Alejandra Michelle. Bye, Juan. Bye, Edwin. Bye bye, Brandon. Bye bye, David. Have a good night. Thank you for joining. Bye bye, David Emanuel. Okay, Miss Marlene. Bye bye, Emanuel. David, bye-bye. Have a good night. Okay, Miss Marlene, Oneida, tell me, do you have any problem with the with the frequency words? Sí. Okay, cuénteme, ¿qué le puedo ayudar con los frequency words? Bye-bye, David Emanuel. Es eh, más que todo en la, en la parte de cuando va el verbo, es después. Okay. Ok, veamos. Fíjese que acá les explicaba la vez pasada en el repaso, si estuvo presente, no lo sé, pero acá, por ejemplo, tenemos. Oh, le comparto. Si usted dice, I always go to the beach. Ok, acá tiene el sujeto de la oración, ¿verdad? El uh, frequency adverb o frequency word y el verbo. Si usted elimina el verbo, la oración no tiene sentido. De hecho, no, tiene, no, no es oración porque no lleva verbo que nos indica acción o movimiento. Estaba monitoreando en algunos equipos y quizás por la rapidez, ¿verdad? Estaban escribiendo sin eh, escribir el verbo. Entonces yo les decía, no, y el verbo, pues, porque si usted solo dice, I always to the beach, it doesn't make sense, no tiene sentido. Entonces, cuando tenemos cualquier verbo, vamos a escribir el adverbio antes del verbo principal. Pero, ¿qué sucede si tenemos eh, I am always on time at work or for class. I am always on time for class. Siempre estoy puntual o llego a tiempo a la clase. Fíjese que aquí tenemos el verbo to be. El adverbio always está en las dos oraciones, pero fíjese en la ubicación, en la posición. Always, el adverbio va después del verbo to be. Cuando mm -hmm. en, el, en la oración aparece el verbo to be, lo vamos a ubicar después de este verbo to be. Más sin embargo, en las que hemos estado viendo esta noche, ¿verdad? En todas las oraciones, los verbos son diferentes. En ninguna aparece el verbo to be. Por eso el adverbio va antes, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Sí? Ah, ok. Ok, entonces la posición del adverbio es antes del verbo principal, excepto cuando el verbo principal es el verbo to be va después del verbo to be, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Ok, muy bien. Entonces, tenemos acá. Ok. Analicemos lo que tenemos acá. 
Vea. I always get up. I es el sujeto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. La oración. Always, mire la posición. Antes del verbo que es get up. He usually es el adverbio que va antes del de verbo drive. She normally, mire. Antes del verbo check. I often have. Antes del verbo tener. She sometimes, antes del verbo uses. Porque es tercera persona. Occasionally va antes de work, ¿verdad? We still do antes del verbo take. Rarely, antes del verbo has. Never, antes del verbo get. ¿Sí? En todos estos, fíjese, ninguno es el verbo to be. Por lo tanto, lo ubicamos antes del verbo, ¿sí? En el caso que tuviéramos el verbo to be, entonces este adverbio va a ir después del verbo to be, ¿de acuerdo? Okay. Vale, entonces ahora, dícteme usted una oración, ¿ok? Eh, utilizando always, una actividad que usted siempre hace, ya sea en el trabajo o en su casa. La que yo había puesto es... No, puede ser I, cualquier otra. I always... I always get... Oops. Get up. Get up. Get up. Uh -huh. Get up at four. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Ajá. O'clock. Bye. Entonces acá el verbo es get up. ¿verdad? I always get up at four o'clock. Sí. Often. Tell me one activity that you often do. I often. I often have. Breakfast. Sí, breakfast. Bre breakfast. Sí, breakfast. With my co-work. With uh, my co-workers. Co sí. Workers. Okay. An activity that you do sometimes. Okay, I sometimes. I sometimes usual. No, si usa sometimes, no usa usually, porque solo vamos a usar un frequency adverb, ok? Solo vamos a usar un ah. adverb de frecuencia. I sometimes. Uses. Use. Uh, my microwave. My. Microwave. Okay. Hardly ever. I hardly ever. Ever. Has. Conference. I hardly ever. Have. Conferences. I have. Yes. Tengo conferences. Eh, rara veces tengo conferencias. Yes. I never, something that you never do or never have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I never get. Okay, I never lat get. Later. Late. Late. Nunca me levanto. Work. Nunca me levanto. Ah. Nunca se levanta tarde para trabajar. Sí. Okay. okay. I never get up late. To go uh, to work. Uh -huh. Yes. Muy bien. Vaya, entonces fíjense, el sujeto es I en todas estas oraciones porque se refiere a usted, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Después del sujeto va el adverbio de frecuencia. Always, often, sometimes, hardly ever, never. Y después de este frequency adverb, usted ubica el verbo, ¿sí? Y el complemento, ¿de acuerdo? Porque en todos esos, en ninguno llevamos el verbo to be, ¿sí? 
Solo el verbo to be, no hay otro verbo con el que hay que hacer. Con el cambio, no, solo con el verbo to be, ¿ok? Ok. Y acá, fíjese, mire, how often do you have meetings? She often, she es tercera persona. Often es el frequency adverb. Has, ya lo convierto porque es afirmativa en tercera persona, ya no escribo have, sino que has porque el sujeto es she, ¿sí o no? She mm -hmm. often has meetings. He always has meetings. ¿Ok? Y acá, imaginémonos que hay otra respuesta. He never has meetings, for example. ¿Ok? Él nunca tiene reuniones, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Sí? Mm -hmm. Entonces, how often do you, for example, how often, esta es otra, otra, how often do you have a shower? How often do you have a shower? Ok, y su respuesta sería, y si yo le pregunto, how often do you have a shower? Ajá, ¿con qué frecuencia se baña, se ducha? <risas> always, always, ahí sería always. Entonces yo escribo, porque acá sería Marlene Oneida, ya no sería Ivania, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yo cambio el nombre. Entonces yo reporto, she always has a shower. Ella siempre se baña. She always has a shower, yes. Y así sucesivamente, ¿de acuerdo? Sí. sí, ok, vaya, entonces eso es con respecto a las posiciones, pero fíjese acá, how often do you check your email, esos son adverbios de frecuencia, pero también hay expresiones que nos demuestran la frecuencia con la que realizamos actividades, how often do you check your email, con, eh, con qué frecuencia revisas tu correo, every two hours in you, cada dos horas, acá, esta es una expresión every two hours, cada dos horas, para demostrar frecuencia también, pero no es adverbio de frecuencia, es una expresión. Los adverbios de frecuencia son los que estudiamos ahora, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Sí? Okay. Vaya, entonces vamos a practicar esta conversación para finalizar la tutoría, ¿ok? How often do you check your email? Every two hours, thank you. Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes. I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Fíjese bien, acá tenemos, I always call Always, usually, often. Con estos tres frequency adverbs, imagínense, acá está la ubicación. Primero el sujeto de la oración que es I, I, I. Luego va often, usually, always, en la posición. Luego el verbo call, call, call. El mismo verbo para las tres expresiones, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, now I am going to read John and you read Anne, ¿ok? How often do you check your email? Every two hours. Hours and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once, once, once. Uh, week, week on Monday, uh -huh. but, is it but, oh. but I, but I, I usually call then on the Friday, on Friday, on Friday, on Friday to check the order, do you call Clients. 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 Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Do I, do are 
ring. Right, right. Right. Okay, now switch. You begin. Hoy usted inicia. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Will I try, try uh, to check it uh, often as I come? And how often do you call your client? Clean. Clients, clients. Clients, perdón. I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes. I always call them him friends. First, no. First thing. First things in the morning, I believe, believe it is in important, important, important to have on time with him all the time. You are right. Now repeat after me. How often do you check your email? How often do you check to do emails? Every two hours and you? Every two hours and you? Well, I try to check it. Will I try to check it? As soon as I can. As como se, often. As often as I can, sorry. As, <laughs> as, as often, often as I can. As I can. And how often do you call your clients? And how often do you call your clients? I often call them. I often call them. Once a week. Once a week. On Monday. On Monday. But I usually. But I usually. Call them. Call them. On Friday. On Friday. To check. To check. Their order. Their or order. Do you call clients? Do you call clients? Yes. Yes. I always call them. I always call them. First thing in the morning. First things in the morning. I believe. I believe. It is important. It is important. To have contact. To have contact. With them. With them them all the time all the time you're right you're right okay miss thank you so very much for giving me the time okay and don't forget to continue working in the platform is that okay okay no se olvide de trabajar en la plataforma gracias por los 10 minutos okay and well it was about 20 but no problem okay have a good night and see you oh, tomorrow, okay? Sleep well. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.